Some people think that I'm kind of a wacko, that I'm, I'm different. You know, and if I pin somebody down intellectually, verbally, and said, hey, what, what do you really mean when you say wacko or when you think wacko or, or out there? What, what do you really mean by that? And, and I think that the response would be that my thinking is unconventional. It's not normal. If you, you pick uh, the average 100 people in the area around me, 95 to 99 of the other ones are probably not going to be thinking in the way uh, that I am thinking, um, and they're not going to come to the same conclusions. Maybe some of them will come to the same conclusions, but not through the type of thinking that I choose to use, which is logic, reason, uh, trusting the scientific method, uh, not necessarily scientists, but the scientific method. Uh, that That's my choice, and when somebody thinks that I'm a little bit out there or a wacko, uh, that that's okay, I guess. Um, I, I, if, I, if I could say something to those people, and I guess that's what I'm doing right now in this video, um, it would be that, that I choose truth. I, I choose to seek truth. And I'm really okay, even if it's uncomfortable, I'm really okay with whatever it is that turns out to be true. I'm okay to go with that. And there are act, absolutely times that it's really uncomfortable because it's not what everybody else is thinking. And everybody is saying, you know, Emperor is wearing a beautiful suit. And I feel like I'm the one, you know, kid there saying the Emperor is naked. Or everybody else is saying, crucify him, crucify him. And I'm saying, hey, man, he's just some guy with some ideas. Like, don't kill the guy. And, and everybody's like, well, no, but the rest of us want to crucify him. And you're the wacko. And I don't know. I, 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 I would ask that you, you don't have to show me the respect, but I would ask that you rethink and I would I would suggest that maybe you, you look at the areas in which we disagree, have different worldviews on things, and and think about, am I really crazy, or is there a chance I could be onto something? Maybe I'm not. But if I'm not, then it should be pretty easy for you to come up with a few logical things and say, hey, you know, you, you think that there are lizard people. I so, say, yeah, absolutely. Hillary Clinton is a lizard person, you know, whatever. Like, I don't believe in that, but something like that. And then you would say, well, Shepard, do you have any evidence for Hillary being a lizard person? And I would say, well, no, not other than some doctored, photoshopped picture of her with her eyes, you know, flashing differently. But no, I don't have any other evidence. Well, if, if I don't have any evidence for something, now you can kind of say, okay, you're kind of a wacko. If, on the other hand, I come up with something that you think is kind of silly, like, oh, I don't know, the, the American, uh, the, the government educational system is kind of designed to make kids stupid and make them uh, turn out to be good factory workers and follow orders and stick with a hierarchy and obey authority, all that kind of stuff. If I say that, and then you say, do you have any evidence? Then I'll say, yes, I do. I can give you some examples, or better yet, I can give you a few books to read. I can give you videos to watch. I, you know, I maybe can't explain it perfectly eloquently, but if, if you put a couple hours into it, then yeah, I think you could see that I have a point. And I could probably give you five minutes worth of meat uh, or, or something that's convincing enough to persuade you to say, okay, um, maybe I'm not going to take the next 55 minutes or... or 20 hours to read all of your suggested articles and books and videos, but okay, I, you, you, may, you might be onto something. I'm not going to call you crazy um, until I've looked into it a little bit more. I think that would be a fair thing to do. Uh, but you're obviously welcome to call me crazy or, or wacko or whatever, but, but I would suggest that you actually look at each thing that I believe, um, not... Here's something that I see that's, that's, that's happens frequently that, that I encourage you not to do, just because it kind of makes you look silly is if I say that I am a certain thing, like I'm, a, I'm an apple eater, I enjoy eating apples, so I call myself an apple eater, and then you say, oh, I've heard of apple eaters, there was a guy that ate an apple that also dropped a bomb on innocent children. You hate children. No, you can't do that. So don't, don't let me use a word to describe myself, and then you take that word and think about how other people have defined it or how other people who have had some similar thoughts in that arena but have done some horrible other things. I'm not agreeing with everything that everybody that has ever done who has ever identified themselves with the things I think are pretty close to what I believe. So kind of a word salad there, but I, I would really encourage you not to just jump on labels and use those as the thing to attack me on. 
look at one of my ideas and say, okay, if Shepard's crazy, here's an idea. Here are some good reasons why he's crazy. Or, hey, it's your burden of proof, Shepard. You're the one coming up with this crackpot idea. Give me a little bit of evidence. Absolutely, you're, you're right to do that. And I ask you to do that, and I encourage you to do that. And, uh, yeah, if you still want to call me a wacko, that's completely okay. Love y'all.